Hi, I'm Nate Mosier, and I'm the faculty advisor for Austin's SURF project this summer. Um, the big picture, uh, what Austin is, is doing is looking at optimizing conditions at a small scale that you saw you can fit in the palm of your hand uh, for a pretreatment process that turns a very difficult to break down material like cellulose into something that we can break into sugars much more easily. Uh, the data he gets from the small scale is very useful in, in tuning the conditions for a larger scale uh, equipment. We have a much larger apparatus at ABE right now that we're testing and we're moving this technology into a, a, a company that's commercializing this technology. So the work he does at the small scale, we, using engineering principles, are able to scale this up to a much larger scale to be the first step in this process of converting cellulose into biofuels. Hi, my name is uh, Austin Cowden and this is my uh, summer research um, with the Lori Group here at uh, Purdue University. Um, I am a, a, or will be a junior in the ABE program. And what I've been currently be doing all summer is working for a doctor named um, Young Me Kim. And what we've been doing is doing pretreatment of switchgrass and um, to convert or to maximize sugar yields. Uh, and so then we can then use that for fermentation of uh, ethanol, and which then can be used for uh, fuel production. Um, and so we can maybe someday eliminate the use um, of petroleum gas and uh, fuels. And uh, actually what I've got here, and this is all I have to do today, um, are some, it's called the LAP2. And what it is, uh, it's a procedure uh, by the uh, NREL group. And what I've done here is we've taken samples from a pretreatment tube. And what a pretreatment tube is, is um, taking the switchgrass and putting it in a container and heating up the container to 200 degrees Celsius. And um, we've actually optimized it for about 20 minutes. And what we do is we take the liquid out, and to, what we do is we analyze it um, by taking about approximately about 10 milliliters of the, the pretreatment liquid and adding a sulfuric acid mixture. And what this does is it actually breaks down uh, some of the uh, sugars within the pretreatment liquid. And this allows us to then run it through an HPL, uh, HPLC machine, and we can then see how much uh, actual sugars were actually found in the pretreatment liquid. So this is all I have to do is just stick this in here. And actually I run this through uh, the autoclave downstairs, um, which heats it up and helps, allows the uh, sulfuric acid to break it down a little bit faster. Really, all or a lot of my research has just been time consuming because uh, I have to put this in the autoclave and that takes an hour and a half to heat up and uh, run through the process. And when I'm doing pre treatment, um, as I said, it takes 20 minutes per tube. So, with all of our baths that are over there, our sand baths, uh, it, you know, doing 15 tubes takes quite a long time. So, these are actually the pre treatment tubes we've been using. Actually, this is one that we uh, don't want to use because um, it leaks when we fill it, but um, we put it in our uh, biomass and we fill it with water and then what we do is we just wrap around the wire around here and then here are our sand baths and so we just what we do is we plug them in, let it heat up to about 200 degrees Celsius and then what we do is we just let it sit in the bath. And what that is is just air running through sand, and that just allows um, the temperature to be uniform throughout the uh, entire sand. So after uh, 20 minutes, we just uh, pull it out of the sand bath, let it cool down, and then uh, then we can start the uh, uh, analysis portion, and then eventually actually hydrolysis and possibly fermentation.